vlog. Today is gonna be completely dedicated to decluttering and transforming some of the spaces in my room. We're gonna be working my closet, underneath my bathroom sink, and then one of my hair like makeup caddies. So if you want a good decluttering vlog, this will be perfect for you if you wanna watch this video while you're cleaning your room or you're wanting to multitask. So let's get started. To start with, I am showing you guys raw and real what my current closet looks like. My last apartment that I lived in had a slightly bigger closet, so definitely these clothes fit much more comfortably in my last closet. I've been living in my new apartment now for like almost six months. That's wild, it's been six months. But I feel like I've done a pretty good job at like decluttering part of the closet because it used to be even stuffier. <laughs> but I just still feel like it's been like a month or two since then and I still have a lot of pieces that I don't wear often. So we're gonna be doing some decluttering and I really wanna get up here looking nice. So this right here is where I store my socks and most of them are mismatched and they just don't fit and it's horrible and it's a disaster every time I'm trying to find a new pair of socks. So I want to somehow make that more functional. So there's the before. Okay, and then the next part, this is the next thing I'm going to want to declutter is underneath my bathroom sink. So yeah, that is a disaster. This bucket is filled to the brim with like my hair products. I have a lot of um, makeup up extras so when I run out of products like I have some in here hair masks just all you could think of and then in here is supposed to be where I keep like my toothpaste and toothbrushes and stuff like that but it's just not as organized as it could be and I feel like it's more of a stress inducing thing than it needs to be so this is also why I want to declutter also my eyes so red today I do not know what's going on Okay, then last but not least is this little makeup caddy right here. This is very functional for me. It has all of my like really go-to products that I use, but it needs to be decluttered again and it needs to be reorganized because I don't feel like it's as functional as it could be. And so it's kind of an eyesore and it just makes my room look messy all the time. So this is going to have to be tackled as well. Mostly down here is like my body sprays and some of my face lotion, then I have hair products. And then this is kind of just like a random shelf with some of my jewelry right there. And then on top something like it just, this could be better. Those are the three items we're gonna be working on the next couple days to tackle and make sure it's as functional as it can be and preventing any future messes. So so let's get started. I'm a little out of breath, I just took out the trash, but it is in the next day and I'm officially ready to start the process on my closet. Um, my first item of business for this video is to declutter. So the reason why I'm starting today is because I finally have the stuff that I was waiting for from Amazon to come and it came. This one's actually for the bathroom, so we'll get into this later. This is my textbook for next semester. <laughs> But this is what I needed. So I will link down below the video that I watched, but I watched this cleaning video by this girl here on YouTube and I think her name's Carolina. I'm Caroline, I'm not 100% sure, but she did a phenomenal job on like breaking down like very easy life hacks to just maintain a cleaner space and to declutter like more efficiently. One of her tips was getting all velvet cloth hangers. So I went and found some. I think these were the ones she linked on her website. So I'm gonna switch these all out. That way no clothes are slipping. It looks a lot more uniform. I just feel like I own a lot of materials that would do well on a velvet hanger. So I'm gonna do that. So let's get started. I'm gonna change into sweats. <laughs> I feel a little fancy for cleaning. Okay, I bought the six pack, not the six pack. I bought the 60 pack which I hopefully think that should be enough. Always cut away from yourself. Let's get this party started. I'm either gonna turn on a podcast or some music and I'm now going to go through every single piece in my closet and if I don't feel like I've worn it in the last six months, then I'm going to not necessarily donate it, but I'm gonna see if my little sister wants it. And then from there, we can kind of figure out what we want to donate. So that is what I'm gonna do first. And then if I wanna keep it, I'm gonna switch it out and put it on one of these velvet hangers. The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Lululemon. Looks like, I don't know. Here is my thought process with this. I love this jean jacket, but I also own this jean jacket, and I know that I've gravitated towards this one. So this one's gonna go in the giveaway pile, but it's just kind of things like that in my closet where it's like, I still like the piece of clothing, but I just don't have enough space to have like multiple of one item, especially if they're super similar pieces. So putting that on the velvet hanger. So I'm gonna put like jackets over here on this side. And then this right here below me, this is the bucket I'm gonna be using to put all of like my giveaway items in. I feel like it gets dark outside so early, but it's been a warmer winter, so I'm not complaining. Okay, 
we're slowly but surely coming along. Even just this half of the closet. So this is all of my jackets back here and then I've hung up most of my sweaters. And I'm about to move on to majority of my dresses. I definitely am a dress girl, so most of my closet is my Sunday church dresses. But I just feel like already, like having those uniform hangers looks so much cleaner than that. So I'm really excited. Definitely the felt ones will be nice too because nothing's gonna be slipping around. So already I'm loving the way this feels. My closet is now like this part is done and it feels so good. I color coordinated my dresses. Um, I didn't feel like I had that many items to get rid of, but I'm very happy with what is in my closet because I feel like they're all pieces that I do love to wear and cycle through. So I have all my dresses and then I have my sweaters and then it kind of just bleeds into my jackets back here. So I feel so good about this and I also love how it all matches and looks uniform. So now it is time to tackle this disaster right here. Okay, the room declutter continues. Um, I'm now officially tackling this. I have so many pants, but like I don't wear, I wear the same two pairs, so I really want to declutter a lot of this. Okay, the jeans have been removed and all the pants, but over here is so messy. I have just like a lot of my books, but they're not properly put away. So I'm gonna try to reorganize like this bucket right here and then see if I can like fit my books in there or something because they're books that I like to have on hand, but like I'm not currently reading. These are the books right here that like I'm more apt to grab if I need to read. So I'm going to try to figure this out. And then here's all the pants. That is so much. I literally wear the same two, maybe three pairs. So I'm either, part of me kind of wants to try these on and kind of just do a try on with you guys and then decide whether or not to get rid of them. So let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna be trying them on here in the mirror. But first, <laughs> these jeans right here. So hopefully you guys can see this. They're very wide leg baggy. Kind of giving me very like dramatic 70s style. Okay, I just found out I wasn't recording. <laughs> but I, I'm trying to figure out how to show you guys my jeans but I don't feel like I gravitate towards them in my closet a lot, but I do like them, I feel like enough to keep them because even right now, like I think this is a cute lounge outfit. It's something different than sweats and they're comfy. So I think I'm gonna keep these wide leg jeans because they're fun and unique. Okay, up next we have these. I feel like I'm remembering all these jeans that I have that I never wear, but these I've had since I think 2017, 2018, like I think sophomore, junior year of high school. And I wore them all the time to the point, and they're Levi's. So now they're like actually worn and really comfortable and super soft. There is a whole mini, which it kind of looks like it's there on purpose. So that's fine, but I don't know. Why is this hard? I'm realizing like, oh, this is kind of cute. So now I'm thinking like, should I keep it? I have worn these a few times to college. I'm gonna keep them. I'm sorry. I know I'm literally not making. Okay, up next are these. Ah. I feel like I'm, I think I'm gonna get rid of these. Mm, they're kind of cute. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of these just because I feel like I've had these for a while and I've never loved. First off, they're a little tight in the crotch area and in my waist a little bit. And so I feel like they've always given me, the sorry, this is TMI, I feel like it's always giving me a camel toe. And I also feel like the zipper doesn't properly close. And so then I always would have to wear this with like a baggier shirt. And there's a stain on it from when I did nail school. So every time I wear these, I get asked, why do you have a stain on your pants? It's really hard. Just kidding. But I, I feel like I just don't love the fit of these jeans. They're not the comfiest. So I'm gonna just get rid of them. So peace out. Okay, up next are these. Got these from H&M. I got these from h &M and I think at the beginning of this year, these are kind of cute because they're a little boot cut, which I feel like is fun, but I already have that pair of white wash denim jeans. So I feel like I should get rid of one for the other. These are not as comfy. They're once again, kind of a little bit tight in this area. And I will say every time I wear these, I don't feel like they're the most like flattering. Like I feel like I end up looking back and I'm like, I don't love the way these look on me. But H&M does have very good quality jeans. Like these are, this is a nice quality denim. So impressed with that, but I just know that I, these aren't my favorite. They don't look my favorite on me. So like, why would I keep them? Hi. Okay, then we have these. These are, hopefully you guys can see, these are a very like wide boot cut denim. I got these probably almost two years ago and when I bought them, they're really cute. And I feel like I've gotten a lot of wear out of them. Like they're just, cute bell bottom kind of, but I feel like 
I think it's just more something in my head. Cause now that I like am actually analyzing it, I feel like these look short on me, but I don't think that's true. But anytime I wear them, I feel like I wish they were like just half an inch longer. But uh, I think I'm gonna keep these because I don't really have like a wide flare boot cut jean in my closet. And I wanna keep these because they're a great pair to have. If I ever need to dress up like a cowgirl, then I'll wear these. So I'm gonna probably keep these. Okay, and then I have these right here. And these white pants I wore, I've had these for multiple, honestly, a lot of my clothes I've had for like multiple years. These I've had easily, I think since 20, for over two years, I think. But I wore these a ton when I lived in Thailand, which they served their purpose in Thailand. Like these are also very soft jeans now because I've worn them out so much. You can't really probably tell on camera, but I can tell they're very dingy. Like it's a dingy white now. There was one time in Thailand I slid down on my butt. Like we were kind of in this, we were in a national park in Thailand and like my butt slid down because I fell a little bit. And then I feel like it's the bum area is never recovered. Like it's always, it's slightly discolored. And I don't want to look like I poop my pants anymore. So I think when I say bye to these white pants, okay, I have folded my jeans and I'm now gonna put them back. First, I'm gonna take down these. Okay, I'm now gonna put this back right here. Okay, I ended up getting rid of those light wash Levi jeans because I feel like I never grab them in my closet. Like it's rare. Ah, so I just got rid of them. So now maybe if I find like a really cute pair, I just feel like I wasn't in love with any of my light wash denim jeans. So I got rid of them. Booted those boys out. That feels so much better. And these are all pants now that I know that I wear and will grab. These are all my go-to jeans. So it looks like I have about four pairs. Then these are all of my like kind of pants slash skirts. Then my white pants, then my Delilah pants, my black skirt. This is a de this is a denim skirt, my denim shorts. And then like my other kind of fun pants that I like to wear. And then my towels are back there, just rolled up. But now I'm gonna try to fit my books just like right there in that corner. I might just line them up, honestly. Okay, something no one talks about when you're trying to clean your room. Something that, something that no one's talking about online is the sad reality of when you try to clean your room and you turn the rest of... Let's just restart it. The sad truth is when you try to declutter one part of your room, the rest gets turned upside down. So let me show you. Closet is looking color-coded and beautiful. Um, but this is not. <laughs> So this is my current status. All of these hangers are pretty much left over from my closet. I cannot believe I had this many just sitting in there. All of these hangers are the old ones that were hanging up my old clothes. All of these hangers, <clears throat> all of these, <laughs> all of these hangers or the ones that were holding up my clothes previously. And so now I'm gonna probably give these back to my mom because I feel like she always needs hangers. So. That is what I'm gonna give. I need to package those up. This corner of my room is excused because these are all Christmas presents. So those need to be wrapped. And then this was kind of the mess from, this is the mess from me trying to organize underneath my bathroom sink. Cause I honestly didn't want to tackle that yet. But now I'm realizing I should have. Hello everybody, today is Monday. No, today's Tuesday. It's a little bit since I filmed my last clip with my closet and me trying on the jeans. My closet is pretty much done now. I did it underneath my bathroom sink off of camera because I was doing it and there was just like a lot of like little things that needed to be decluttered. So I just like got rid of it and did that and kind of just got it over with. But the last part of this video, I want to declutter this bad boy right here. This has been kind of an eyesore I feel like for a while. I'm going to bring this right here. Here we have my makeup caddy cart. Um, this I feel like could just be not so much of an eyesore and also it could be organized much better. So I just thought that I would do it on camera now. So, okay, let's just tackle this one shelf at a time. So to begin with up here, I feel like this is usually where my makeup bag goes. I asked for a new makeup bag for Christmas, so and I'm pretty sure my mom got it. Having the family Amazon account all connected means like I can literally see who orders what and she did order the bag. So anyway, it's an adorable like little blue and white bag. I think Christian Johnson posted a link to it, but I kind of want that to be the only thing on top here. So I'm gonna move this. This is like my hair oil. I'm gonna move this down. I think this is gonna be like a hair shelf right here. So currently inside of my hair bucket, I have 
Oh, see, like, I don't even know what that lid goes to. I have an everyday detangling leave-in conditioner, but I, like, never use this. So this is going to be something I'm going to put in my past pile. This is day hair oil, except it's not the day hair oil. I completely used it, and now there's just a little bit left over from when I refilled it with, like, a random one from Trader Joe's. So I think I'm going to get rid of that, too, because I have a ton of hair oils. This one is a hair oil that leaks all the time, so I might even just get rid of this one because it's honestly just really messy. So then that kind of frees this up. But this is a hair oil that I use really frequently, and this is the Skin Caring Magic Serum by Scene Beauty. Scene Beauty has really good hair products. Am I even like in focus? Anyway, so I'm gonna put this one into my little hair bucket right here. Um, up next is the Salty Face. This is the tanning water. I wish so badly that I could use this. I just feel like I'm a little, I'm just not a tanning girl. I feel like I can't upkeep and maintain like the look of a tan because it washes off so frequently. And I also feel like I just look orange. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this, but I'm gonna give it to my sister-in-law Katie because I feel like she'd actually like it. So I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, this is Merit Beauty. What's weird about this is it's like a red lip. Oh wait. Oh, that's a red lipstick. Mm, okay, I never wear a red lipstick. Maybe I will for the holidays. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't really wear real red lipstick. I got it from a PR package. Okay, and then the perfume is gonna go down here. Okay, up next, my, um, this is the Sol de, Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I do like this a lot. I'm gonna put this down here for now. And then this is one of my skincare sprays, so. Sorry, that right there is my crafts. I was making cards for my family, and so that's where that is, but. Okay, so I have this little Gucci box, and this, is a very nice box, but I feel like it kind of just becomes a clutter fest because the stuff in here, I don't really use that frequently. To start with, I have a spray. Um, I've had this for a couple years now and I rarely use it. So I'm gonna give it to my family members and see if they want that. Candy. Yum. Okay, still got for later. I do not like the way red lipstick looks on me. Okay, up next we have the Mighty Pouch. I'm gonna keep this. Hopefully I never need these, but I'm gonna keep them just in case. This is the Too Faced Peach Palette. I'm gonna get rid of this and give this back to my mom because it is literally like six years old and I just don't think that's sanitary, so I don't really use it often either. But this Gucci palette right here, this eyeshadow palette, I actually really, really enjoy this one. And so I'm gonna keep this for sure. Okay, up next is like, these are a bunch of samples that I just don't use. So I'm gonna give these away to, this is jewelry. So it's gonna go right here. Chapstick that I don't use. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep on going down each of these shelves and then I'll check back in with you guys. Okay, this is my current hair box and honestly, I'm not in love with it. I think I'm going to want to buy a different container because it's so tall and it's very heavy and I don't feel like it fits a lot. So for now, this is what I have to work with, but I'm trying to organize my jewelry right now and then this little hair bucket. Okay, so these are the items I'm gonna put in a bag and probably give it to my little sister Amanda because that's some jewelry that she might like. And then the beauty products, like my mom can see with what she wants to do with that. So, but here is just the little revised um, makeup caddy. It just feels a little bit more organized. That organizing video I kind of referenced at the beginning of this video that I had watched. Um, once again, I'll have it linked down below. But something in it she said was often like the issue isn't the products, but it's more of the placement of the products. And so with this, she's like, everything even looks better if it's just organized onto something. So if you have like floating perfumes, like it might look better if it's just on a tray or it might look a little bit cleaner if it's just like put into a little bucket. So I think that putting these inside of these little containers even helped organize those products a little bit. So this is most of my, these are my hair products. This is my skincare. This is my perfumes. This has my extra gum and then my eyeshadow palette and a hair mask and a face mask, I think. And then I have my lotion, hair products, and then some jewelry with my makeup bag on top. So I feel like this feels a lot better, a lot more organized. I need to vacuum now because I'm realizing how dusty it is, but. Okay, I'm still in my pajamas, but that was very productive. Um, my closet is now officially done too. I have all my Christmas presents on here, but my closet's done. It feels so good. It feels way more organized. And then, and then so is that hair caddy. And then I wanted to show you guys now underneath my bathroom sink and what I did for that. So if you come in here, you guys remember me showing you what it looked like when I pulled it out, but. 
this is my basket now. It feels so much better and everything in here is actually products that I use. So these are kind of my leftovers. I have some shampoo and conditioner. That way when I run out, I have those. My razor refills, extra toothpaste, body wash, and toothbrushes. And then I have all my heat products right here. So they're super easy to grab. Before it literally was just like floating in this entire box. So every time I need to curl my hair or something, it was kind of frustrating to try to get it out. So much more easy access there. So that's what that looks like. And then up inside of here, I bought this off of Amazon. This was linked in that organizing video that I watched, but it is a rotating clear caddy. And so these are products that I also have extras and like leftovers of. So I didn't want to get rid of them obviously, but I didn't really have a place for them right now. So I got this and I have this in the storage closet. So this is like extra moisturizers. That's extra hair oil. Um, this is my heat protectant. This is my extra deodorant, more extra deodorant, my nail polish remover, old tweezers, like just stuff like that, that I still want to have because they're great products, but I just don't have really place for them. So I organized that all right there. And so that feels a ton better. I should probably change it on my pajamas. Okay, but that wraps up today's video, organizing video. I feel like this is a great video to put on if you're also organizing your room, you need some inspo, if you're getting ready in the morning, this is a good video to watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and you have such a wonderful day. Um, I am very far from perfect at keeping a clean room and keeping things organized, but doing these things really help me out a lot. Getting rid of unnecessary products I really don't need to be owning right now. So I feel like it just provides some more just more mental clarity and it also eliminates things that don't need to be stressful in my life and my room shouldn't be like one of those stress inducing things so like i have clean laundry i need to put away now and i'm gonna pack all that stuff up and i need to also wrap a few more of my christmas presents look how cute the christmas presents are i'm so excited i just need to wrap a few more but that is it for today's video i hope you guys are watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye